A common mistake in communication is trying to get your message right. Yes, you heard correctly. People obsessed with crafting the perfect message often fail. And neuroscience can help us understand why. Your audience determines how your message is understood. It's not your grammar that determines the success of the message, whether you spelled the word right or wrong, although that's important. It's not your neat turn of phrase that you crafted. It's actually your communication partner who has a huge impact on whether or not your message is successful. Communication is the process of creating shared understanding. What does it look like when it works? Well, let's say I describe something in my mind. Maybe it's the first car that I ever owned. When communication works, you should see that exact same car in your mind. However, the reality is it doesn't happen. Most people will visualize, not my car, but the first car they ever had. Now, this simple truth is one reason that communication fails so often in today's workplace. And we only know this truth by understanding how the brain works. It also explains why communication fails so often in families and personal relationship. We say one thing and the person we're talking to thinks another. Psychology studies show that people make sense of your message through the memories in their mind. Not your memories, their memories. But traditional communication books, they don't address this. They teach us how to do the perfect message, how to craft the right turn of phrase. But you know, communication success is not about the perfect message. It's about how we tap into their memories and their experiences to help them make sense of what we say. That's what communication is all about. And you know what? Memory is just one of those simple little truths about the success of communication that's often ignored in traditional communication books and forgotten in traditional communication classes. We explore this and other radical communication secrets in my keynotes and seminars. We explore how the brain works, what this means about how other people understand your messages, and then we unlock the obstacles that probably are derailing your messages every day. So that when you write an email, and when you give a speech, and when you talk to someone else on the telephone or just across the table in a coffee shop, you'll achieve shared understanding. What's that? Shared understanding, that is communication success.